Hello, hello, hello. As you can see, today is a day of tests at the Academy, and um, we are testing all kinds of software and all kinds of ideas for our live broadcast series. Are you with me? Cool. So, the gentleman you can see on the left of your screen is Mike Rivero. He runs a website called whatreallyhappened.com. He has the poster behind him. And he lives in Hawaii. And one of the things that I want to do with the Academy courses is introduce you to interesting people. Introduce you to people with great ideas. Introduce you to where I got my ideas and opinions from. And he has a daily show, which you can find on the internet, and you can also find it, I think, in some podcast series. Uh, not exactly sure, but you can definitely find it on YouTube. And the whatreallyhappened.com webpage is a treasure trove. It's a fantastic source of data and information on a daily basis about the world in general, how things are functioning, in which direction things are moving, and um, Mike's opinions are really spot on. So this morning he was talking about um, the present political crisis. Uh, we just move from crisis to crisis politically. And um, maybe it's all shadow play. Maybe it's all puppet theater. Maybe it's all, hey, look at what we're doing over here. Well, quietly, we do this over here. Maybe it's all, all like that. But uh, Mike has got some pretty nice ideas about uh, why things are the way they are. Let's listen to a little bit of his uh, speech from this morning, because he's far more interesting than I am. So I'm going to fade me down, fade him up. Or well, maybe I'll fade him up first. Go for it, Mike. And welcome back to uh, Mike. And getting on into the news here, uh, the corporate media is either trying to ignore these two major scandals, the WikiLeaks dump, and Obama bugging Trump with as much dignity as they can muster, or they're already out there trying to dismiss it, ridicule it, or find somebody else to blame. And I am not kidding you. The Washington Post is now saying Russia's behind the uh, CIA leak to, to WikiLeaks. Russia did it. Russia leaked the CIA files. Russia hacked the Democratic National Committee computers. Russia hacked the election. Russia's stealing socks from my dryer at night. Russia plants gray hairs on my head while I sleep. Russia caused the quake in, Earth, in Hawaii this morning. Russia's evil, evil, evil. And it's just on nonstop about that. Now, of course, we're getting some uh, different opinions from other things. The former CIA director, Michael Hayden, is blaming the millennial culture for all this leaking information, these, these upstart young people who think that the, the people should be able to peek inside the government that their taxes support and find out what's going on here. Oh, those, how, oh, those, those uppity whippersnappers, they should just sit down and shut up and pay taxes and die in our wars like the deity meant them to do and so forth and so on. Now, we also have this other story here. This is coming out of the Daily Mail where they're putting the blame on CIA contractors who were working for the CIA. And remember, Edward Snowden was technically a contractor at the NSA. So blame the Russians, blame the millennials, blame the contractors. The truth is the CIA doesn't have a clue what hit them. Everybody is just out there guessing. And they're in a huge, huge panic because... All that's been released so far, as damaging as it is, WikiLeaks says this is just 1%. There's a lot more coming. There's a lot worse coming. And it's coming out bit by bit by bit here. So just let's go back and recap so far the most shocking revelations from uh, 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 what's been happening. 
is uh, the, the CIA's hacking smartphones, routers, computers, even televisions, iPhones, iPads, Android devices, which have been marketed by saying they're secure and they'll protect your secrets. The CIA deliberately infected personal computers with spyware, including Windows, Mac OS X, Solaris, Linux, other operating systems. They've hacked Wi-Fi routers to monitor Internet activity, and they've worked out how to bypass or they've bought off the antivirus companies so that those antivirus packages will not detect the CIA's uh, malware. And they've also worked very diligently to try and make the rest of the world believe that it's Russian hackers, not the CIA or behind all this cyber crime that's been going on here. I remember in the good old days, I mentioned this the, uh, a, a little while ago, in the good old days, webcams came with built-in privacy sh shields that you could lower over the lens. Power and Wi-Fi switches were actual mechanical devices that actually shut things off. You could take the batteries out of your cell phones and tablets and so forth. And have you noticed uh, that all those things have gone away? You can't take the batteries out of your devices. So even if you power them off, there's still power in there. And just like the TVs, it may look like it's off, but it isn't really. And uh, I'm actually getting word from our control room at Republic Broadcasting. Uh, apparently, it looks like ISPs are starting to blacklist the Republic Broadcasting domain and servers. Apparently, they're getting complaints about that. A lot of people are getting their website shut down. A friend of ours has a website uh, all of a sudden can't log into her own blog. Clearly, they're in panic mode over there, and they don't care that we're seeing all this stuff being done. Now, the CIA has come out with a plea, a beg, if you will, to the American people that we shouldn't read what WikiLeaks is, is putting on out there because the CIA is necessary to protect us from terrorists and criminals. And WikiLeaks is harming national security, and we as loyal Americans should close our eyes and stick our fingers in our ears and just shut up and pretend that everything is all still hunky-dory. CNN has gone as far as to basically say the total and complete destruction of the Fourth Amendment and its reckless abuse by a ruthless and dangerous government agency is nothing to worry about. So remember, no privacy at all is the real freedom. Also, war is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. Warming is cooling. And Russia is to blame for everything going wrong. You can just smell the panic in the air. We're going to do a shout-out now to our on-air affiliates who are just now rejoining our network. Now, there are some other people with different opinions. Dennis Kucinich is out there saying that the revelations of what the CIA is doing shows that this nation is sliding down that slippery slope towards totalitarianism where private lives do not exist. Even Comey is out there saying that spousal communications are within judicial reach. Remember the old adage that a wife could not be forced to testify against her husband? Doesn't apply to their emails anymore. Total surveillance, total informational awareness. We are in a constitutional crisis. There we go. Kucinich Thanks, Mike. Is saying this requires a full-throated response from the American people. He is absolutely right. There we go. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Absolutely. So, um, those with the information, those in the know, know. Those in the know know what, what's going on. We've got the CIA in a mess, if you can believe that. I mean... Order out of chaos, isn't it? Basically, that's what we're looking at. We've got the WikiLeaks vault. We've got basically government being able to hack phones, computers, TVs, fridges, probably your probably your underwear. If there's some kind of chip or tag on it, um, nothing can really be turned off you can sort of you can buy little boxes that secure your phone and protect it and um, I think the walls of government buildings are now painted with some special kind of paint that uh, stops signals going in and out isn't that why they changed lead paint in the past there was lead in the paint 
which was poisonous and toxic, and they took it out, but they took it out not so it would be healthy, but so that you could scan through the walls. Um, conspiracy, perhaps. Anyway, so <laughs> what can you learn from this? If you've got a problem, blame it on <laughs> blame it on Russia. <laughs> it's Russia. It's the bears. Whatever. Um, we've got alternative media sites having problems. We've got uh, Breitbart being attacked. We've got Infowars being attacked. We've got the Republic Broadcasting Network being attacked. We've just had uh, Natural News being attacked. We, uh, we, we've we seen other test attacks in the past, like people like uh, Stefan Molyneux's YouTube site went down as well, I think, last year. So... Um, Facebook is now blocking certain posts. They're just not appearing in other people's threads. Uh, Twitter had account access problems recently. Um, this is kind of chaos on the net right now. Um, I think behind the scenes you get a feeling that there's a bit of a struggle for power and control at the moment. But I think Mike had his finger on the pulse there when he was talking about uh, what was happening. Again, his website is whatreallyhappened.com. And I'll put a link to it next to the video. And you can check out the stories for yourself. If there's something that you'd like me to cover, if there's something you'd like me to promote, if there's something you'd like me to look at, if there's something you'd like me to talk about, or even if you just want me to shut up, you can get in touch. Um... We also accept requests for specific subjects to talk about, and uh, we uh, we enjoy a good conversation. So there you go. Um, you can, you will be able to get in touch with us in the future through Skype. You will be able to call in and uh, ask questions directly, which is kind of cool. So um, that's it. Um, I'll put up the link and um, I put out the information and uh, life is those little steps and this is just another one of them. Speak to you soon.